The old paradigm of needing to hire from your local city or town is over, which is why 63% of companies now hire remotely. If you need to outsource a few tasks to virtual workers, or even if you want to build out your entire team remotely, but like most business owners, you're worried about the fact that you won't be able to find the right person, or worse, you think that hiring abroad is going to hurt your company, keep watching. I'll explain why your worries are completely misguided. Centuries ago, Wilhelm von Humboldt had a crazy, crazy idea. What if people all over the world could share their knowledge with each other? What if there was a worldwide network of human intelligence, he called it, that would allow you to share information, stories, and even games with someone who lived across the globe, someone in Japan or Egypt or South Africa? Wilhelm's idea is now a reality, thanks to the wizardry of the internet. You can be sitting in your own room and having a conversation with a friend from the Middle East or watch an online course from a university in Melbourne, Australia. The world is now a better and smarter place than it used to be, and this disruptive change has transformed every area of our lives, but especially business and how we should hire. Gone are the days when you have to hire that not that bad, half asleep accountant who lived the stone throws away from your office just because they were local. Instead, you can work with a world-class expert from wherever you want, and all you need is a good internet connection. And with free online education platforms like Coursera, or with my own educational platform like Virtual Courses Now, more and more global talent are joining the marketplace every single day, and they are good, and they are talented, and they are motivated as hell, which means you can hire the cream of the crop from all around the world and pay less than what you had to pay for some mediocre employee from your local market. The problem is that you don't trust those virtual workers though. They come from foreign countries and you're worried if they don't speak English, right? Well, that cannot be more wrong. Let's be candid. The truth is in the first world, in our first world countries that we live in, we've got it pretty good. Food, shelter, and all the necessities of life. But that privilege, it comes with sometimes a sense of entitlement that leads to complacency and a lack of motivation among many of us, especially the workforce. We learn to take things for granted and to feel a bit entitled for what we should or shouldn't have to do at work. But in developing countries, they view every opportunity as a chance to prove themselves. So they push harder. They're more eager to learn and to adapt quickly to new tasks, especially if they wanna work for Western companies. More than that, if you offer employees the chance to work virtually, you're more likely to attract and retain top talent that are looking for more flexible working environments where they can do as they need, not necessarily just clock in and clock out. No more Monday morning grumpiness or office thermostat wars. Your virtual team will have the freedom to work when and where they want, and they'll be responsible for their own results, not ours. So you don't have to babysit anymore. And the result of all of this, happy employees, increased productivity, higher performance, and faster results. All research on productivity and remote workers proves this out. The research is absolutely 100%. So what exactly will happen if you choose to outsource virtual workers rather than hire in-house? Well, one, you'll save money on office space and relocation costs. Two, you'll pay less on payroll. Three, you'll improve morale and your team will be more motivated and productive while working from home. And four, you'll be able to hire faster because you have such a larger pool to pull from, which is why if you are looking for the best and the brightest, do not limit yourself to your local area code. The world is filled with amazing professionals waiting for somebody just like you that has a great vision or a great business and is willing to give them an opportunity. You need to free yourself from geographical boundaries. You've got to think global. But even if you do, how do you hire the right person? That's a good question. If that's you, watch this video on hiring abroad and I'll explain exactly how to do it step by step.